Use leftover bread. Nobody likes eating stale bread. Not only is it dry and tasteless, but stale bread can sometimes develop mold. It seems that you'll always end up with a few leftover pieces from every loaf though. As you accrue the few pieces left from every loaf, put them in a freezer bag in the freezer so that you can collect enough to use. Perhaps everyone's favorite way to use leftover bread is in a delicious bread pudding. We share our bread pudding recipe with you below along with some other ways to use your leftover bread instead of letting it go to waste. Make some toast out of stale bread. Stale bread can be greatly improved by making it into toast. Thaw frozen bread and spread peanut butter on it, then toast the bread in a toaster oven until golden brown. You can also use stale bread to make French toast as well. Make croutons with leftover bread. Stale breads are perfect to make into croutons. Cut the bread into small squares. Pour a small amount of olive oil in a shallow frying pan, just to grease the pan, then fry the bread. When the croutons turn crispy, remove them from heat and drain the excess oil by putting the croutons on a paper towel. Use the leftover bread as stuffing. Stale bread works well to use as stuffing for a turkey or chicken. You may mix different types of bread, including corn bread, to add texture and variety. Use leftover bread to create pastry shells. Remove the bread crusts and carefully lay them on a muffin dish. Bake the bread in an oven on low heat until the bread becomes crusty. Then add on some jam or sweet fillings to create pastries. Now here's that recipe for bread pudding that we promised you. Use the following ingredients, 1 tablespoon white or brown sugar 1 half teaspoon vanilla 2 cups of milk 2 eggs nutmeg first, butter the stale bread and put the pieces alongside each other in a casserole dish. Sprinkle raisins on the bread. Butter another couple of pieces of bread and place them on top of the first layer. Repeat this process, sprinkling raisins on every layer, and finish with a layer of buttered bread. Remember that the buttered side of the bread should be the side facing down. In a separate bowl, Combine the eggs and sugar, then add milk and vanilla, and mix them completely. Pour this mixture over the layers of buttered bread and add some more raisins on the top. Bake the bread pudding in an oven until set, approximately 40 to 45 minutes. Once baked, let the bread pudding cool and then serve with cream or ice cream on top. Being resourceful and practical pays off, especially with today's economic situation.
So make use of those few pieces of leftover bread from every loaf making good use of leftovers can prove to be rewarding, both for your family's meals and for your budget.